Hi, this is Andy with Nioxys Corporation. In this class, we're going to continue our discussion of our CRM module and talk about follow-up activities. I'm going to go into my CRM module and I'm going to pick up an event that I had previously scheduled. Let's say we have a digital face-to-face -face meeting with a new sales prospect. The meeting is scheduled for December 15th, 2023. Now previously we've talked about reminders. These are CRM records that happen before an event. But what about activities after an event? Follow-up activities. What if we have this meeting on the 15th and at the end of the meeting we want to make a note that within the next three days the customer would like us to send them a proposal and then I want to schedule an additional follow-up seven days after that to call the prospect to see if they're interested in placing an order. Let's go ahead and set up that series of events, this primary or initiating event, and then those two follow-ups. Now when we do this, you should think of these event records or these activities as links in a chain. This is the first link, and each subsequent activity is an additional link in the chain. So I'm going to go up to the follow-up icon and I'm going to add a follow-up. This will give us our follow-up options here at the bottom of the screen. Now remember the initial event was scheduled for December 15th. We have some scheduling options. I could schedule this for the next three days. So the follow-up date is by the 18th or I could schedule it two weeks from now which would put us at the 29th. Optionally, you could schedule something for next month, in which case it'll take the same day as the current activity and schedule it for that day in the following month. In this case, I'm simply going to schedule it three days out. This is going to be an outgoing mail. You'll note that the to-do icon has changed in its appearance. Now we see the calendar with the little plus sign. This icon is now used to actually save this follow-up. And I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I'll confirm it. And there we go. Let's now look at this event chain. I'm going to go back to my to-do and I'm going to select show list or show that series. Show that chain of events. So here is the first event. We're going to have the meeting, but we also have this follow-up activity, this second link in the chain, which tells us that we are going to send an outgoing email to send that proposal, and we're going to see here that this is a follow-up to this first link, this first activity in the chain, specifically that meeting we had three days ago when we discussed Alan's new orders for the coming year. Remember, though, we want to add a third link to our chain. One week after we send the proposal, we want to call Alan to see if he's ready to place our order. Let's add another link to the chain. Let's add another event in this series. Again, we go to the follow-up icon. We add a follow-up. I will schedule this for next week. That's seven days after the original event. And this is going to be a outgoing phone call to follow up on the proposal from last week and see if he's ready to place his new order. Again, we save the follow up. And now when we go back and we look at the list, the chain or the series, we see all of the events connected to this. This is the event in the middle. The first event was on the 15th. That's this event right here that face-to-face -face video meeting to discuss new orders for the year. Then we have this event on the 18th, send the proposal. Then we have this event on the 25th, a phone call to follow up on the proposal sent last week. If I were to go look at this particular event, this event seven days after the proposal is sent, and I look at that series, I see the original meeting on the 15th, the proposal was sent on the 18th, and here's the follow-up one week later on the 25th. 
whenever you are looking at an event, you'll know if there are a series of events or follow-up to-do events if there is a sequence ID number. To-dos are easy to set up and they're a powerful tool that we can use to make sure that nothing falls through the cracks. When one event is the reason to create new events, those new events, those follow-up events, can easily be linked back to the initiating event. And then when we're in our CRM and we are looking at a particular customer's detail, here in our CRM activity, we'll always see all the events in a particular user's event chain or series of events. Those are to-dos and they're really easy and a great tool in the CRM module. Next time, we're going to look at how to use our CRM to track all the events in our sales pipeline. That's in our next video. Make sure to join us.